There are two parts of the problem as I see it. The long term supply of wood and the more immediate supply. You might be able, now that soil moss tubers are being removed, actually plant some trees or bushes in the settlement. Most likely reason bushes don't grow very large is due to the restrictions caused by the soil moss. And with it removed, you might be able to grow some very large bushes. That is, however, going to take a very long time before you're able to be harvesting the wood. But it's likely to be worthwhile doing. In the short term, I know of no better solution than going out into the wild and harvesting whatever large bushes are actually out there. The scout and the others will know more about this than me. If there is an area I haven't scouted for a while, and it may still have some larger bushes in it. I tend to avoid it, but there are not many fruit bushes growing there, and the flame bushes grow back quicker there than anywhere else that I know. It is possible you may be able to gather some wood suitable enough to make more tools. The first light tomorrow, I think I'll go and harvest some, along with some gatherers. Kyla, do you fancy another trip out with us? Certainly, I'm happy to assist in gathering some wood. I even have a tool that may be useful for cutting some of the branches. I believe it should be in my backpack, fairly near the top. A tool you might find interesting, Toolmaker. Be careful with it, because it's really quite sharp. Kyla then put his pack on the ground and fished around for a wire saw, which is lightweight, practical, and very flexible. If it carried more tools like that than Calypso, it easily equip the whole settlement. But then, when he started out on this mission, he expected it to be alone, he's not trying to help out a whole population of settlers. Still, he carefully handed it to a very cautious tool maker. He didn't seem impressed by the saw. Certainly a very fine item, Toolmaker commented gently as the cradle the saw. It is sharp, but I would imagine its lack of weight means that you put extra effort in its use. But certainly having tools so light can be a real advantage. You certainly thought very carefully about your equipment before you joined the Forsaken. What I hear, you have the right item for almost any job in that backpack of yours. I certainly hope so. I came here knowing I might have to survive on my own for quite a long period of time, whereas the Forsaken came here as a group and could support each other. You're also well equipped. It is possible that were I to stay here as long as the Forsaken, even my backpack would run out in the end. Still, if I'm to help the wood hunters tomorrow, I should probably get some rest. I do seem to tire more easily here than I'm used to. Could be that there are just so many new experiences here, my head is finding it tough to get them all fitted in during the day. I'm feeling the need to sleep more than I used to, so just to sort them out during the night.